Would using dedicated grounds for your stereo system cause a ground loop? This question comes from Dean in San Jose, California. On your later videos in the new sound rooms, dedicated power lines are being installed and you state that the ground is important, but every standard circuit breaker box has one bar connected to ground. Would a dedicated ground rod for stereo systems be better or just cause ground loops? And let's talk first about just what is a ground loop. Then we'll go into what a dedicated circuit is, and then I'll try and answer the question. So if you don't have five or six minutes, go, go about your business, do something else. <laughs> People go, he took so long to get to the answer. Sorry. I, you know, I got no script here. I'm just going to start talking. Okay. A ground loop is when two different grounds are at different potentials. So one of the most common ground loops that you'll see out there is the cable TV and your house ground. So when you have cable TV coming in, the cable ground isn't always tied to your house. In fact, a lot of times it isn't. It should be, but it isn't. And so their ground is somewhere down on the street. Your ground is up here. And the difference between the two is something that plagues stereo systems that are somehow connected to your, to your entertainment system. And you'll get this, this nasty buzz. And all you got to do is disconnect the cable TV it disconnects the ground, the buzz goes away. And there's, oh, we, they make isolation transformers to get rid of this problem. And it's a shame because the cable company should be really tying to your, to your house ground. But hey, I'm, you know, I'm gonna tell Comcast what to do, really, right? But that's a very common way to do it. So grounding in general, you, your house, your home, your apartment, your condo is somehow tied to ground, literal ground. There's a, a stake somewhere that goes into the earth and all your equipment, your plugs and whatnot, are tied into that ground stake into the ground because that is going to be the place where you want no potential difference between the earth where you're standing or where you are sort of grounded to exist because if there's too high of a potential, you get shocked, right? So we don't want to do that. And that's typically not going to be a problem because we're talking about minor changes, sometimes millivolts, but sometimes, you know, upwards of half a volt or so, which is a lot because the difference there is going to cause a lot of hum and buzz and problems. So in a typical home, your AC plugs are wired in series. So you've probably seen this before. If you click a circuit breaker off, the living room lights uh, shut down. Maybe the living room and the dining room all go off at the same time. Or uh, you hit this and the entire bedroom, bathroom, whatever, are all on what we call one circuit. And that's because there's a single wire going to a circuit breaker that is feeding a series of plugs or plugs and lights or however the house is being wired. Dedicated circuits are single run wires going to a specific product or light or whatever it is that you have, more of a home run, what we would call a, a star system or a home run system. And in audio, and video systems, if you can, if you're starting from scratch or you have the, the funds to get an electrician out there, there's nothing better you can do than to run dedicated lines, one for each piece of equipment. And upstairs in our rooms, like we have six dedicated lines feeding each of our systems. And then we run those lines into power plants, the power plants AC regenerate, you know, new power and everything is kept clean and quite proper, low noise without problems. And it does sound better. It, it's definitely worth the time to do dedicated uh, lines. 
But along with that, and to uh, the, the question from Dean, there are not just hot and neutral in these dedicated lines, there's also a dedicated ground. And his question is, if I have, let's say in our situation, we have six dedicated lines, that means we have six ground wires all collecting back to one point. Now, that point should nev never cause a ground loop problem because it's all going to one point and from there it goes off to your, to your house ground. So that's never going to be a problem. But if, for instance, you had multiple circuit boxes, so you've got one ground over here and one ground over here, and you've got six here and six here, and they come to that, and there's differences between those two grounds, which there shouldn't be, but if there were, that, and you used one, you, you borrowed, let's say you have two sets of six, like we do in the upstairs room, well, if I needed a seventh plug and I plugged in there, I might get a ground loop. Now, properly done, all grounds should be tied together. And what a lot of people do is they have a, not only a dedicated set of wires going to feed their AV systems, but they also go to their own sub-panel, and that panel then grounds to its own ground stake outside of the listening or the AV room. My friend Bob Harley, who's the, uh, I think he's the editor of the Absolute Sound magazine, he went to great, I mean, he, 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 he made this special slurry of conductive stuff with a, you know, a copper ground rod. He went to great trouble to get, you know, as much conductivity to ground as he possibly could. But here's what he did that makes sure that it's not a problem. Because he had one ground for his listening room that was separate from the ground stake for the rest of his home and dedicated wires going into it, for safety's sake and to keep out any kind of potential ground loops, you want to make sure that those two grounds are tied together. Doesn't take, it's, there's no current flowing through it, so you can have just a you know, flimsy wire, but you do need those two to be tied together and you don't want them at the same potential. So it's an easy thing to do and it's something that any electrician, I'm sure, would share with you. So I hope that answers your question. It's a good one and I appreciate it. Thanks for asking. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.